Hi, and welcome back to Fast Cabling, where we dive deep into the latest and greatest in technology. Today in this video, we are focusing on an incredibly versatile piece of tech, the dual lens camera. Now this is perfect for both indoor and outdoor scenario. And this camera brings security to your doorstep no matter the setting. So let's explore how this innovative device can be set up to enhance your security system. Now this dual lens camera combines sleek design with robust functionality, making it ideal for any environment. And it's weather resistant, ensuring durability outside and this great enough for indoor use without disrupting your decor. And the dual lens cameras offer a comprehensive view, reducing blind spot and the need for multiple cameras. Now let's talk about the setup. We have two options, Wi-Fi and power over Ethernet or PoE. So let's start with Wi-Fi. Now, Wi-Fi connectivity offers flexibility and ease of installation. No need for extensive wiring, just the power, and you're practically done. So first, we're going to connect the camera to a power source. And the camera will be turned on and wait for it to initialize. System starting up. Connecting, please wait. And then we're going to open up the cap from the bottom of the camera and hit the reset button. Restore factory settings. Please don't power off. And it will restore to the factory setting. Now make sure your camera is within the range of your Wi-Fi network. Then we are going to take out our mobile device, open up our dedicated application, which is the Green Backyard application. But first, we will need to connect to our Wi-Fi. This is our home network. We are already connected. Let's go back to the green backyard and log in. As you can see, the dual lens camera pop up automatically. Just type in your router's username and password and hit OK. Please wait. We can hear the sound of the camera saying it's connecting to the application. Connect to router successfully. So we can hear the sound of the camera saying connected successfully. So let's go back out. Here we can search for the available device. We can hit plus. This is the dual lens camera. Just hit the plus again. So now the device is added successfully. And this is a live video. Let me hold it here and I'm going to go over to the camera and wave my hands. And if your camera cannot be searched, and all you need to do, let me disconnect it first. I'm going to show you another way to connect the camera. Just hit the plus button, select Wi-Fi camera, hit next. Just follow the instruction to add the camera, plug in your Wi-Fi name and password, hit OK. And we are going to scan, just move over to the camera and show this QR code to your camera lens. So after scanning the QR code, again, we are going to edit again one more time. Just hit save, next, and complete it. Now we also successfully edit the camera to our app. 
So now to ensure your recording is safe and sound, you can connect the camera to your NVR, the direct video recorder using the router. And this setup allows for a mass recording and support SD card storage, which is ideal for backing up footage. Now let's look at our big screen monitor. I already connected the mouse to the NVR and everything are connected. All we need to do is right click it, go to the quick set. Now it is configuring. As you can see, all the cameras within the router pop up on the screen. And let's wait for it to configure. As you can see in the background, let's hit apply and exit. We are already connected to our dual lens camera. I'm going to wave my hand so you can see it. Now, you can also enjoy a large screen view of your feed, which is perfect for detail monitoring. And a quick tip before we move on, always check your Wi-Fi signal string in the area you plan to install the camera, because weak signal can lead to poor video quality or connectivity issues. Now for those who prefer a more stable and reliable connection, power over Ethernet is the way to go. Now this method powers the camera and provides internet connectivity through a single cable, reducing clutter and simplifying the setup. Let me show you how. We have the junction box already mounted on the demonstration board using the screws. Now let's take out the waterproof cap and the rubber. Plug in our Ethernet cable. This is a waterproof cap, so nothing can get in. And make sure you use the rubber to wrap around the cable. And twist it. For this camera, using PoE, we need a splitter. So let's plug in the splitter, put it inside and it will split the power and the data. Now I'm going to get my dual lens camera. And I'm going to plug in the ethernet cable here and the power supply for the camera. Plug it in, put everything inside the junction box. and use a screw to twist it in. Twist it, and this one. And you can see the camera is already mounted on the bracket and to our junction box. Now, I'm going to twist it a little, and we're going to connect the camera to our PoE switch using this ethernet cable. Just plug it in here, and from the switch, we can connect it to the monitor, to the NVR, and to our router. Plug it in here, connect it to our router. Here we go. And the router is already connected to our NVR. And using an HDMI cable to connect with our big screen monitor. Here we go, all the indicated lights is on. This not only ensures a stable connection, but also makes it compatible with longer distance, up to 100 meters without needing extender. Now I'm going to right click it, go to the quick set, configure again, So after the quick set is done, just hit OK and apply, exit it. Now we are looking at 
four screen, but we're only using two camera. This not only ensure a stable connection, but also makes it compatible with longer distances, up to 100 meters without needing extender. And for remote monitoring, once the NVR is connected, we can add the system to the same application, which is our green backyard application. And this will allow you watch a live video feed from anywhere, giving you peace of mind no matter where you are. So now we are going to add the NVR to our green backyard app. Just hit this scan button. And here, move the mouse to the upper side and we'll have a QR code. Just scan it, hit add device. You can also change the name of the device. And we add it successfully. Let's hit play. Now we are looking at multiple cameras. We have our dual lens cameras. And also you are able to view other cameras at the same NVR. So it allows you to monitor multiple cameras at the same time. And now this is a live video. I'm going to wave my hand so you can see the same as on the phone and on our big screen monitor. So it's that simple. Now let's not forget the advanced features of this dual lens camera. With PD control, you can pan and tilt the camera remotely, ensuring comprehensive coverage. And person detection can filter out false alarms by focusing on human activity. Now I'm going to show you how. So by right click our camera, we can see the PDZ control click on it and then I am going to move the arrow just press it you can see the lower camera is moving from left to right just hit the left arrow and it will go to the left and also up and down And by click on the second dual lens camera and do the same thing. I'm going to move it around the lower camera. Now enable to turn on the human detection feature. All you need to do is go to the main menu. Go to alarm. We have the intelligent alert. We are going to select channel 2 and here we are looking at the human detection feature. Just click on it to enable it and it will start recording and report to your mobile device when it detected human movement. And also you can select the alarm sound, it's pretty loud. And here we have the sensitivity. I'm putting it on middle so it won't be too sensitive or too low. Just hit OK to enable it. So now I am going to move over to the camera. And we can hear the sound of the alarm. And also it instantly sent an alert to my mobile device. And there are also other features like the color night vision keeps the detail clear even in low lights. And you can also adjust the resolution and frame rates to suit your need, ensuring you get the perfect balance of quality and storage efficiency. And with the Vesitel installation option like wall or ceiling mount, this camera adapts to your space. So there you have it. Whether you choose the Wi-Fi or PoE, setting up your dual lens camera is straightforward. Thanks to its flexible design and powerful features. And don't forget to check out our website for more tips and tricks on getting the most out of your security setup. So thank you very much for watching and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell for a notification on our latest tech tips and reviews. So stay secure and I'll see you in the next video.